Okay, Rock Realty Report, July closeout. Hope everyone's having a great summer. Uh, for the new subscribers, what we cover here is a few main stories. The principle, be, the principle being that if you know just a few main principles of the real estate market, you pretty much know all of it, or at least better than 95% of people. Just knowing every little piece of information is a little bit overrated in our opinion. So we just kind of give you the gist of it so you can just read it and be on with your day and your life. So the first main story are prices. So prices continue to surge and we've covered this before. This is a demand problem. It's interesting that we track other markets as well. Canada, New Zealand, all those prices are down with the rising rates, but the USA is held strong. And the reason that is, is just the strong demand here. Um, it's estimated that we're short 3 million units, 3 million housing units. So demand continues to rise. Prices are up again, about 2% since last month and 13.4% since last year. So strong growth, um, strong demand begets higher price increases. Now, the second story is a localized story. So the state of New Jersey, a couple of weeks ago, enacted what's called the Lead Safe Certificate Law. And basically what this law requires is an in-person inspection of every rented unit in the state of New Jersey. It's a massive overhaul of the law. And what's gonna happen is if you have a unit that's for rent, you have to obtain the certificate. Um, by doing so, you have to do an in-person inspection of your unit and basically get the town to sign off and obtain the certificate. If your units are already rented, you have two years to get this certificate. And then going forward, you have three years to get this certificate, um, which is kind of curious. We'll have more on that in a minute. Um, but the fines are substantial. You could be fined up to $1,000 a week if you do not have this certificate. I don't believe the fines will be that high, but um, the fines are capped at $1,000 a week. So it's just something you want to do because obviously, um, you know, the fines will accumulate week over week. And um, it's just something you want to get. So pretty interesting, and it's pretty interesting that the state would overhaul such a law like this. It's also interesting that you have to get this every three years, which tells me there's more uh, going on here because obviously they don't um, produce lead-based paint anymore. But um, minor inconvenience, but um, well worth it um, if you're an investment property owner, just to make sure you have this and make sure you're covered. If you have any questions on this, feel free to drop me a line here and we can go over more of this in detail. There's also some exceptions to short-term rentals and things of that nature. so. Uh, feel free to reach out and we can go over this together. Um, now, the last bit of localized news is Jersey City, out of all cities in the country, topped the highest rental um, average price. Um, Hoboken came in at number seven, but Jersey City is surging just due to the um, increase of luxury apartments all over the city. Jersey City is pretty big geographically and they're just building all over the place. So the rent's very high there and um, the rent's up. Um, according to rent.com, 60% since last year. So interesting to see for uh, Jersey City there. Uh, so again, hope everyone's having a great summer. If you have any questions on this material or if there's anything we could do for you, feel free to reply. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Make it a great day.